Hey everyone, KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts. I want to talk quickly about this MFJ1924, the programmable screwdriver antenna controller. I just got finished mounting my little Tar Heel and my 7100 in the vehicle for HF Mobile. And this is one of the things I picked up for this process because this makes this antenna, this Tar Heel, so much easier to tune with something like this. There are several manufacturers, I guess, that have screwdriver controllers. I picked this one up from MFJ and it seems to do just exactly what I need it. So let me explain what this is doing first. And then you can see more on the video about my setup on this in this truck. Uh, check out that video to show you start to finish how I mounted the antenna and stuff. So this is the antenna that I chose to mount on my vehicle. And this is the little Tar Heel uh, HP. It's six through 40 meters, handles 500 watts, and it's a motorized antenna. The longer the, you know, the higher you run the motor up or down, and the you know antenna will be resonant where you set the antenna. For instance, if I get up here, you can see there's a coil here, okay? The more coil you add in this as this goes up, the longer the antenna is electrically going to be. So all the way down would be for six meters or the higher end of the portion uh, of this antenna range, and all the way up would be for 40 meters. Now they have other models of different Tar Heels, but how do you know where that thing is resonant? Well, you could do it two ways. Now, Tar Heel includes, for the you know installation, a manual push button switch, up and down. So what you could do is you could hook this up, put your, your radio at low power in ready mode or, or FM mode, a full D cycle mode, and you would key your radio and go up or down on the antenna to find where the SWR on your radio is the lowest, the flat spot, okay? You can do that, that's totally fine. And in doing so, you would have to look at your radio, look at the SWR, go up or down, and you would see the SWR uh, change as you made your antenna more resonant. And I'll show you what that would look like right now. Okay, here's my 7100. So, a lot of radios have an SWR graph on here, and that basically tells you and shows you what the standing wave ratio is of your antenna at that frequency. What you'll notice is if, and I have this set up here, okay, um, I know that, I'll explain this in a minute, we're just gonna go down like this, okay? Now, if I key up on, say, RIDI, and we're gonna drop this down to, you know, like low power, five watts, 5%, five whatever. Okay, now, if I key up, you can see my SWR is a two to one, okay? Two to one, not terribly bad, but watch what happens if I can do this with one hand. Watch what happens if I key up and I adjust the length of that antenna up or down using my MFJ controller here to find where that sweet spot is where it's resonant. Watch this, ready? You see how I just dropped that, watch. And look, if I go this way, it comes up, goes down, goes back up. So there's a dip right there in the middle. And that happens to be right around 65 on this. Now, this is just a reference number. This number is going to be changed, you know, change on a lot of different systems. It's just a relative number to tell you where you are on that antenna. So essentially, zero would be at the very bottom and whatever number's all the way at the top. Now, if I look on the 7100 and I go to SWR and I'm going to just sweep the SWR. Watch this. It is absolutely flat on that SWR. And if you're not familiar with this, what it's doing is like every time I push the button, it takes a reading uh, at the SWR at that frequency. Watch. And tell 10 kilohertz steps. One to one SWR flat all the way across the board. Now, what I can do is I could take that number and I could program that on a button. So the next time I push the button, it goes there. So we're gonna call this 6, 10, 12, 15, 17, 20. I'm gonna put this at 20. Done. It is now programmed on number six. When I push six, it's going to put that antenna right at that spot that it's at right now. And I'll know that 20 meters is going to be resonant there. So let's do this again. We're gonna go up here to, um, we're gonna to go to 10 meters. Okay, which should be uh, actually shorter than what it is. So, if I look at the SWR right now, uh, let's see. Okay, 
Let's see what the SWR is. See how it's all way up above three to one, right? So I'm going to run the antenna down. And when I do that, you can listen to the noise. And as it gets more resonant, you will hear a more uh, white noise or static. Listen. See how it just got higher? Okay. That indicates because as you all beat me up in the past, oh, a tuner tuned your antenna, really? Well, then how come when I'm moving my antenna and making it resonant, my receive comes up, right? Okay. So let's check the SWR now. Look at that. Flat all the way across the board, all right? Watch. Look at it. So 28.4 would be around 16. So we're gonna call it 610, put it in number two. Done. Now I'm going to show you, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna hit number six and go out and, and show you. Now when I push number six, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start going back towards 20 meters. So I'm gonna set the radio to 20 and I'm gonna push memory number six, ready? And now you see it's counting, and the antenna is going up. Look at it. When it's there, it stops. Now I'm resonant on 20, okay? That's how easy that was. So I can also manually tune this for receive frequencies in between where I can't transmit. I can tune that for the highest noise level and know that I'm close to being resonant. Um, so between, once I get this programmed where I want it, uh, preferably you want to do this and get it tuned, you know, without obstructions nearby, out in the middle of the open, all the doors closed like they normally are, because that's how you drive your vehicle. And then take your readings and, and get it programmed. Then I'm probably going to mount this thing just right here, because I don't really need to look at it too much. I can just hit the buttons and, and be done. But what a great way to easily change tuning on your antenna. I'll be on HF Mobile, and I hope to work you guys, because I've heard some signals come in here, and now i got all the bands. So it's just as easy for me to push a button, tune it up, and call CQ while I'm driving all day. 73 KJ4 YZI.